Hi and welcome back to the Time Then channel. The late 1700s mark the beginning of Pennsylvania's long history of coal mining, which peaked between 1870 and 1930. The images in this video were captured by Office of War Information photographer John Collier and show the hard lives of miners at Pittsburgh Coal Company's Montour No. 4 mine. Collier captured the miners' daily activities while they worked underground, setting up tracks and equipment, drilling and using dynamite while being cautious of potential collapses. The largest bituminous coal mine in the world at one time was Vesta Monter No. 4. The mine opened about 1903, was shut down in 1957, briefly reopened in 1960, and was finally shut down permanently in 1984. At Coal Hill, Mount Washington, a little distance from Pittsburgh and across the Monongahela River, bituminous coal was first mined in Pennsylvania. The Pittsburgh coal seam, which protrudes along the slope, was mined by drift miners, and the coal was then paddled to the neighboring military outpost. By 1830, Pittsburgh's residential and light industrial needs for bituminous coal exceeded 400 tons per day. Eastern Pennsylvania's anthracite coal fields had advanced to the point that hard coal had conquered the eastern markets. As a result, the growth of the steel industry, the building and expansion of rail and river transportation infrastructure to the west, and the growth of the western Pennsylvanian population all contributed to an increase in bituminous coal production. The demand for steel brought on by the rapid expansion of the railroad sector and shipbuilding concerns started to have an even greater impact on bituminous coal output in western Pennsylvania at the end of the 19th century. The so-called room and pillar method, a mining technique that involves extracting mine material on a horizontal plane to produce horizontal arrays of rooms and pillars, was used in the early mines. At the working phase, mines relied on physical labor to cut the coal, which was then transported out of the mine by horse-drawn cart. Later, as seen in these photos, many room and pillar mines cut the coal with mechanized continuous mining machines, which are then transported to the surface by a system of conveyors. Please kindly subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please kindly subscribe and see you on the next one.